That moment is a little different though. I ain't gonna lie. That was the first time I cried. I was so nervous. My pops called me. Congratulations, boy. Okay. I, said, I couldn't miss one tournament. This changed our life. Uh, Mook. Mook was the one. <laughs> I'm like, y'all serious, bro? <laughs> he called me. Hey, right, congratulations, boy. We played him. He had Jeremy Lin in the middle of the game. He like, you left me out here with this oh. And I looked at him. I was like, what? I told him to go get you. You scared? And I ain't know he knew my name. I'm like, <laughs> to the bench. I'm telling Rattlesnake Tate. They call me with me. Oh, he talking about the rest day. He used to do that in Atlanta, but they never let me do that. I wonder why. He would never let me stay at home. He'd like let me sit out, but he won't yeah. let me stay at home. He'd let Al and Kyle stay at home. Probably because they had kids. Sure. I told him I had hope. I mean. <laughs> I had to be at Magic, bro. My country got broke out in hives, bro. I'm went to the trainer like, something wrong. I got it. You know, I'm like, fuck, I done got a bad batch. You know what I mean? Something. And he like, oh, these are hives. He's like, here, you got to take some Benadryl. Like, you got an allergic reaction to something. So I'm like, damn, what I eat? They do all these tests on you in the NBA. You know what I'm saying? Came back. He's like, no, you just got a hives. He's like, man, are you stressing? Oh, I was going through the ringer. Yeah. <laughs> I shot 28% tonight. Got to be at 38, 40, get this money. But let's talk about New Jersey as a city. Shout out to Dirty Jersey for real. They ain't had no hotels. Boy, Holiday Inn, Damn. I thought I was with Chingy. It was so bad. Me and Mook thought about buying our own hotels in New York, bro. First time I slept with everything on in a minute, bro. I ain't take my socks off, I ain't take my shoes off. I was in a whole fit like this. Shout out to uh, Isaiah Briscoe, big three, a good player, but he lost. <laughs> the atmosphere was crazy, though. And he from Jersey, so competing against him, all you heard, he can't f with you, Zay. That's I'm cool. like, yeah, he missed a free throw. <laughs> I was I on that. Die. I was on that. <laughs> roll his ankle. I swear to God, that touched off. Blow. Like, we ain't hype he hurt, but we like, he's out. Like, he was about to win this game. Did like this. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Start wiggling his foot, to stay in the game. Yeah, I was like, Jim. I say he's not real, bro. You weren't yeah. supposed to see that, bro. Yeah, I was, the reason I like Joe so much for real, he used to tell me in the first three quarters, like, I don't care what you do. He's like, you don't got to pass it to me, you can shoot it. He's like, you know, Josh want the ball, Jamal need the ball, whatever. He's like, that fourth quarter, <laughs> bring it right here. Go to that corner. Listen, man, it happened so fast. When I saw that they called the hand one, did he just clear that one? I was like, oh, clean that one. And he dunked it, and when he came down, if you see me, I really wanted to go full light. Like, I swear, time stopped. Well, I thought that was from so he fucked <laughs> for like two seconds. Man, shout out to Vince Carter. We in Inglewood. I don't know why I'm at. Come up to some little raggedy gym, and I see this little tall, little fat kid, dog. Had like the little Stephon Marbury curly kid on. And then I saw him go up and boom that motherfucker. Like, damn, that little fat motherfucker got some arms, man. Who was that? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's Paul Pierce. I've never seen a so old that still wanted to play the whole game. I'm like, God damn, bitch, you 47. He like, man, what's keep taking me out for? <laughs> damn, you can't come out? He like, man, you don't want to win. God damn, you keep taking me out. I'm like, Crazy. You are 43 <laughs> and you're 22. You still don't want to come out? CJ had a shot at the buzzer to win. He uh. took it and he missed. And PG was like, I got to have that shot. CJ was like, damn, what's it like? See, was that a bad shot? I'm like, shit, bro, that's the best shot we could get. Game four. They threw it to CJ. That CJ fired that to PG and he missed it. Get in the locker room. Because CJ he did me like this. It was the Gatorade commercial. <laughs> Tim Floyd was recruiting me at USC and Taj was already there. And OJ Mayo was, uh, me and him was the same year Taj was there. I went to campus and they like, yeah, everybody get a truck. Taj had the big boy expedition. I'm like, yo, they getting money. My pops like, you're not going there. They do not do things by the book. I was like, I need to be there. <laughs> Whole time I'm thinking they cheap. I'm like, man, Wake Forest got it. <laughs> <laughs> no, Wake Forest had no money. <laughs> Tibbs loved me too. Tibbs called me to go play for New York when I, I chose Boston. Mm -hmm. He was like, what are you doing? I said, like, what are you doing? You can, we gonna be here for five more years. You, you know we gonna be here. I was like, you right. When I seen him, I said, what the f was I doing? <laughs> I, I, like, I should have went to New York. I, I remember one time we played y'all. Uh, we played at LN. I went to the basket. I knew I couldn't beat your <laughs> but I was gonna tell him like, we gonna be his. <laughs> we gonna figure this out. But uh, now I went to the basket and you blocked the shot and you pointed at my temple and said, what the f are you thinking? I wanted to ask you, what the f did you think? <laughs> I found the energy drink boost. Okay. And I used to drink like two or three of them before the game. And I swear to God, I don't remember nothing. <laughs> I don't remember none of that. So I apologize to my brother. <laughs> Got a little brother named Marcus oh, T. Shit. Shout out to Mook Dog. I had these all white 25th anniversary 11s Mike Bibby gave to me, right? Mm. Sorry, Mook. Mook, tell he, the story. 
he ducking and dodging me in the club. I'm trying to get his attention. Like, he in the middle of the club with a Hennessy bottle. Like, I'm like, yo, come here. He's like, uh-uh, I'm straight. Like, yo, come up here. He's like, no, I'm going to stay in the crowd. Some reason somebody said to me, damn, your brother Jordan's fire. I said, my brother, he ain't got no Jordans. I looked down. He got the all-white 11 verse in the middle of the club. If I showed you the shoe, you wouldn't believe it. They brown. I saved them. One and done. They brown. <laughs> Demolished. Shout out to Bibby, oh, man. He obliterated. <laughs> oh, they brown. It's Hennessy stains all on the tongue. He turned bro shoe up. <laughs> Hate it. When you having a bad day, bad night, bad little run, I type in that. I know my favorite highlight. <laughs> What's the go tos? I had thirty five on Kyrie. <laughs> go right to a game winner. <laughs> yep. Hawks versus Cavs. <laughs> Go right to it. Nah, Louis clipped that. I ain't going to say he ain't had 50, but he, he had a lot too. <laughs> but he won. <laughs> and you had a G, though? Yeah. Damn, that's one. I'm surprised you didn't go to the um to the uh, the Ray Allen dunk. I ain't never really watched that one. I watched uh, playoffs. We played the Pacers. Game one. Yeah, KG was ready. Swing on my boy after he boomed on. Ray Allen. <laughs> that nigga was on that. <laughs> that nigga was on that. You the first nigga to ever yelling Ray Allen. <laughs> that might be. <laughs> we love Eric Gorge. I love, bro. You know how we feel about you on the show, bro. But <laughs> when that nigga was playing the cage, he was like, Trash ass nigga. He's a hell no. <laughs> Trash <laughs> ass nigga. He had AJ fuck up. This was Luca first year. I'll never forget. I walked up to West. I'm like, man, y'all gonna let the white dude get the ball the whole game? That's crazy. He looked me dead in my face. He said, that mother called. He didn't say nothing else. Bro, I said, oh, sh-. I said, oh, he must be nice. <laughs> Next thing I knew, I said, oh, let me shut the f- up. We was talking about how, like, about LeBron's situation. Mm-hmm. And I was talking about how I got my pops and somebody that showed me the ropes, gave me the guidelines to how to be a, just a man in general. Yeah. And how much respect we got for Bron to like, damn, he just grew up with his mom and like knowing his situation. And for him to like never be in trouble to go through what he's going through, be the person that he is in the player years, I was mm-hmm. like, damn, he damn near got to be the GOAT. Bron's the GOAT because he did all the things that you just said. He had the most ridiculous standards to live by and surpass all that shit. Like, I, I got so much respect for people who grew up with like single moms or don't have their dad in their life like that or whatever. Because for me, I couldn't imagine yeah. not having my pops or like not doing that because I don't even know. I don't, like, I wouldn't have that guidance. Like, I don't think I had a discipline myself just to do that. Shit. Whoever went through that situation where mm-hmm. they didn't have a male figure in their life and they was able to overcome it and be like, what phenomenal in whatever field they chose, it's crazy.